tēnā tātou. No mai haere mai. Welcome to the Māui Playbook, where we discuss culture, commerce and creativity. My name is Vincent Egan. I'm a doctorate student of professional practice. On this podcast, we'll pinpoint critical mindsets, systems and behaviours to optimise for growth and success. Neuralink, the innovative neurotechnology company founded by Elon Musk and seven other scientists and engineers, is pioneering the development of BCI technologies, or brain-computer interfaces, with the ambition of bridging the gap between human cognition, so what our brains are doing, and digital technologies. This cutting-edge mission aims to revolutionize our interaction with technology and holds the promise of numerous benefits across various domains, from medical treatments advanced communication methods to enhanced cognitive abilities. Alongside these potential benefits, Neuralink's technology also presents a whole stack of ethical, technical and societal challenges that warrant a real thorough examination. But before we continue, I'd just like to encourage you to like and subscribe to our channel. This is a zero cost way to be able to support the work that we do here at Maui Studios and with the Maui Playbook podcast. One of the most significant benefits of Neuralink's technology lies in its potential to make groundbreaking advances in the medical field. It offers hope for treating neurological conditions such as Parkinson's disease, epilepsy and spinal cord injuries through stimulation of specific brain areas. This could provide new avenues for treatment for conditions that are currently difficult to manage effectively with our existing technologies. Now, beyond medical applications, Neuralink proposes to enhance human cognition, potentially enabling faster information processing, things like memory augmentation, and improved learning capabilities. Imagine being able to access the internet directly from your brain at any time instantly. These kinds of advancements could could transform education, uh, research, and any field that relies heavily on cognitive labor. So Neuralink, it could revolutionize communication by allowing for direct transmission of thoughts and ideas without the need for speaking or typing. So you could think something and someone else can just instantly understand it. But you can also do that sort of communication directly with technology as well. And perhaps in the future, other things as well. Who knows, you could put a neural link into your dog and then be able to communicate with it directly from there. And this is breaking down barriers that are imposed by things like our language or you know people that are suffering from different disabilities. It also enables the integration of artificial intelligence with human intelligence, potentially creating a relationship between the two where human and artificial intelligences can enhance one another for the better. And this is enabling us to be able to keep pace with the AI advancements that are coming up because soon AI is going to have an exponential intelligence growth rate. And the only way for us to be able to compete with that is to integrate with AI ourselves. So, whether I agree with that personally or not, that's a whole nother thing. And I'd encourage you to share your thoughts on those sorts of ideas. Um, I've also got another um, critical question to ask as well. And it goes like this. What ethical frameworks are most appropriate for evaluating the impacts of these BCIs on, let's say, individuals or even society as a whole? There's some pretty important questions that come out of, for, come out for us when this technology becomes more wide spread. So despite these immense benefits, Neuralink's technology is not without its shortfalls, as I'm sure you can imagine, and its own challenges. Ethical concerns are at the forefront, as I'm sure you would imagine as well, including issues such as brain hacking, loss of privacy, a mutable ad sent directly into your mind. Imagine it's like 4am and you just get sent an ad for whatever, something, and and you just don't want to see it, but you're kind of forced to experience that because of your Neuralink. And the potential for the coercive use of technology, so relating to or using force or threats through this technology to harass people. Questions about who controls the data and whether thoughts could be monitored or manipulated without consent are being considered as well. And the societal impact of such technology could increase existing inequalities amongst people. 
if access to brain enhancements is limited to a privileged few, it could widen the gap between different parts of society. So an interesting question to ask, I think, at this point is how might BCIs affect concepts of identity, of agency and autonomy amongst individuals? And how could having access to, like, basically the world's information create disparities and inequalities in people? Technical hurdles also present significant obstacles as well. The complexity of the human brain makes the development of a safe and effective BCI a daunting task, which I, I suppose is one of the lures of why Elon Musk would want to work on a project of this nature. But issues such as things like long-term biocompatibility, data accuracy, and the risk of brain damage pose pretty substantial challenges for, for Elon Musk and his crew. And, and another question I'd want to ask is, you know, what does the development of BCIs imply about the nature of consciousness about the mind-body problem and the human cognition overall. Additionally, the invasive nature of Neuralink's technology means that regulatory approval is a critical hurdle, requiring a lot of testing and oversight to ensure the safety and efficacy of the devices for human use. Now that being said, it is currently in human trial. Um, Nolan Harbar, if you Google his name or check him out on YouTube, he is currently using the Neuralink to treat his quadriplegia um, quadriplegia for him is he's been paralyzed from his shoulders down so he can't feel anything below his shoulders but he's now using the Neuralink to play chess completely with his mind alone so he's telepathic essentially with the with the aid of this technology and so what would you do what would you as an individual do if you could instantly at any moment search and recall any detail from the entire of, entirety of human knowledge and history what would you do with that capability what are the conversations between people who have this type of capability look like where essentially imagine everyone in your friendship group or your think tank or whatever it is has access to all knowledge. What does that, what does that look like? So if you have any ideas as to what that looks like, definitely let me know in the comments. While Neuralink's technology harbors the potential to usher in advancements in you know, medicine and communication and human cognition, Realizing these benefits requires navigating a complex, super complex landscape of ethical, societal and technological challenges. The development and deployment of brain computer interfaces or BCIs like Neuralink underscores the need for careful consideration and collaboration, um, collaborative regulation, reflecting a broader dialogue about the future of humanity's relationship with technology. It's definitely one to think about. If you're learning something or getting any value out of this podcast, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's a zero cost way to support us so we can bring more of this type of content to you. Alternatively, you can support us on Patreon. The link is in the description. Please check out our sponsors. That's the best way to support this podcast. If you have any questions, advice or comments for us, or even topics you'd like us to cover, please put those in the YouTube comment section. We will read every comment and would like to know your thoughts. If you're not already following us on social media, we're Maui Studios on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and LinkedIn. Links are available in the description. This is the podcast where we discuss culture, commerce, and creativity. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to view this episode. Kia hau maru te noho. Have an awesome day, and we'll see you in the next one. Mauri on.